10 Best Places to Visit in Sierra Leone Hello the Splurrers! Welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by the Splurr and thanks for watching. As you already know, it's always a pleasure presenting to you interesting places to visit on the beautiful continent of Africa. In today's video, we are taking you to the land of the white sandy beaches, Sierra Leone, and we shall be presenting to you the 10 best places to visit in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, officially known as the Republic of Sierra Leone, is a country in West Africa bordered by Guinea, Liberia, and the Atlantic Ocean. Sierra Leone has a total of 71,740 km square and an estimated population of 7.9 million people. Sierra Leone has 16 different ethnic groups, each with a different language. It's known for its white sandy beaches lining the Freetown Peninsula. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. The current president of Sierra Leone is Julius Madabayo. Julius Bayo was sworn in as president on 12 May 2018, three weeks after the results of the 2018 Sierra Leone and general election were declared. We have a dedicated video on Julius Madabayo. Click on the card on your screen to check it out. Sierra Leone is a destination of exquisite natural beauty. Despite its lush rainforest, palm-fringed beaches, fascinating history and vibrant culture, the country remains largely unexplored and undiscovered. So in this video, we will bring to you 10 of Sierra Leone's most exquisite tourist favorites. Hence, in no particular order, here are the 10 best places to visit in Sierra Leone. Number 10. Mount Bintumani, Loma Mountains Also known as Loma Mansa, Mount Bintumani is the highest peak in Sierra Leone and the Loma Mountains at 1,945 meters. It lies in the Loma Mountains and its lower slopes are covered in rainforest and a wide variety of animals. These include pygmy hippotamuses, dwarf crocodiles, rufous fishing owls, and numerous primates. Mount Bintumani is one of the best mountains for riders. This mountain has its own beauty, which can make its different identity among others. It's a great place to climb up, hiking, and mountaineering. If you are looking for an offbeat experience, then Mount Bintumani, the highest peak in Sierra Leone, is the place for you. A hike across the grass plains, rocks rope bridge, high and steep cliffs, the lush vegetation, wildlife are all fun and fascinating. Number 9. Takogama Chimpanzee Sanctuary Freetown Located just on the outskirts of Freetown, in the Western Area Peninsula National Park, Takogama Chimpanzee Sanctuary was founded in 1995 by conservationist Bala Amarasekaren and his wife Shamila. Initially established to enforce wildlife laws, rescue and rehabilitate orphan chimpanzees, Takogama is going to a diverse conservation organization. Caring for close to 100 chimpanzees on site, Takogama is also actively engaged off site in community outreach, wildlife field research, environmental sustainability conservation education, and alternative livelihood programs. Takugama is also an ecotourism hub for Freetown home to six eco-lodges and a variety of activities for both tourists and Freetowners alike to participate in. If you're a nature lover and want to escape from the hurly-burly of the city life, then the Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary, located in close proximity to the picturesque village of Regent, will be a perfect place for you. The amazing sanctuary in the Western Forest Reserve is home to orphans and captured chimpanzees. Eco herds, fresh forest breeze, rainforest and extraordinary creatures, waterfalls, surrounding villages, all will make your one-day trip worth a while. Number 8. Martello Tower The Martello Tower built to guard the Freetown from frequent attacks during the 19th century is of great historical significance. The tower was built on the tower hill in round shape to serve as a powerful artillery several times. It is also said that the water tank at the base of the tower served as one of the major water supplies for the town in the early 1870s. Climb up the tower to enjoy magnificent views of the city, then learn more about the historic monument. The tower, like many of its replicas around the world, became obsolete with the introduction of the more modern and sophisticated artillery and was dumped for demolition. It was proclaimed a national monument to save it from demolition when the new parliament building of Sierra Leone was built in 1960. Number 7. National Railway Museum 
The National Railway Museum is a railway museum in Freetown, Sierra Leone, and was officially opened in 2005. When the Sierra Leone government railway closed in 1974, a collection of rolling stock was retained at the former railway workshops to form a museum. Locals included one of the 4 minus 8 minus 2 plus 2 minus 8 minus 4 garrets, a Hunslet tank, and a couple of diesel lockers. The museum was established by Colonel Steve Davies and his team after the state railway was shut down in 1974. A locomotive shell had been converted into the museum, and it includes a lot of interesting collections of locomotives which were built in the UK. The collections are historical heritage assets of Sierra Leone and include hardware assets, photographs, headlamps, tickets, wage boxes, and so on. Entry into the museum is free. However, visitors are encouraged to make donations towards its upkeep. Number 6. Banana Island, southwest of Freetown Peninsula. Banana Island is located near the Freetown Peninsula at the southwest coast. It's a series of three islands, Dublin, Ricketts, and Mimehu, off the coast of Yauri Bay, with Dublin and Ricketts being the main islands linked by a stone causeway. Dublin Island is known for its beaches, while Ricketts Island is best known for its forest. The headquarters of the Etisola Telecoms Company is located at Banana Island. This place is perfect for snorkeling and diving. The churches of 1881 and the old slave docks of the traders of slaves can also be enjoyed. The island forests and bat caves are also recommended by travelers. Banana Islands are entirely surrounded by the Freetown Peninsula and the islands are only accessible by boat, ferry, and helicopter. Number 5. Turtle Islands, Southeast Peninsula Situated off the Southeast Peninsula, Turtle Islands is a group of eight islands, Yele, Bake, Bumpetuk, Chepo, Hung, Mut, Nyange, and Sei, seven of which are inhabited by the community of fishermen. The eight island archipelagos expand in a zone of 13 kilometers over shallow waters and wide sand banks. It takes three hours to reach these remote islands by speedboat. Fishing and swimming in the fresh and clean water makes a trip to this island a truly fascinating experience. It's a combination of eight peaceful islands and other nests to hundreds of turtles. The lives of fishing community on those islands. The fresh air and the clean and fresh water create the most amazing tourism field ever. You can enjoy fishing by yourself with the local experts. There is an option of saving money while taking the taste of the beach by waiting for the local boat to get there. Number 4. Toke Beach, Toke The Toke Beach was one of the most favorites to the 1980s French supermodels and they often visited this beautiful white sand beach. The peaceful weather and chilly surrounding attract the tourists mostly. Located in Freetown, it is the perfect place for visitors to take a trip for the whole day and also stay overnight, being assured that they will not be bored. You can stay at the local guest houses and resorts where you can see the crocodile lady who attracts the freshwater crocodiles to have fresh fish. The breathtaking white sand beach, which was the favorite destination of the French supermodels in the 1980s, is still a popular tourist attraction today. Cheerful surroundings, pleasant weather conditions, peaceful environment, clear waters, lush vegetation in the backdrop all attract the tourists. Number 3. Cotton Tree Free Town The cotton tree is a Saber Pentandra, also commonly known as a Kapok tree, a historic symbol of Freetown, the capital city of Sierra Leone. Cotton tree may be an ordinary tree at Freetown, but it contains extraordinary significance. It is a symbol of freedom to the Africans from slavery. At this place, the Afro-American people arrived at first. They stopped at this place under the big cotton tree when they got their land as free land. They gathered to sing and thank God for their freedom. Located near the Supreme Court, this old cotton tree has been standing there for so long. Number 2. Burns Island, Huntington Beach Africans have been through a whole lot of things, and what is left behind are some symbols and certain places to remind them of where they have been and how far they have come. Sierra Leone is one of those African countries which contains some islands and forts to resemble slavery and the African journey. 
The Burnt Island is one of the early British slave stations. The slave traders arrived in Africa and made this island one of the largest slave stations as soon as they showed up in the 1670s. Burns Island is now one of those places which is a touristic site and yet a painful reminder of all the people have been through in the hands of their former colonial masters. Visit this island and connect the roots of why the African race is such a strong and powerful people. Number 1. River Number 2 Beach River Number 2 is the name of the river that flows into the ocean on the Western Area Peninsula and refers to both this river and the beach. It is seen as one of Sierra Leone's most alluring and celebrated attractions and is popular with both tourists and Sierra Leoneans. The beauty of River No. 2 does not only lie in its gorgeous beach side, towering mountains and mangrove forests that flank the river flowing into the sea. It also lies in the fact that it hosts a completely community-run tourist location. Their organization, the Community Tourism Development Association, was founded about 20 years ago and has been active in protecting the beachfront, developing the tourist industry, and supporting their community. River No. 2 has 14 beach bungalows that are fully equipped with solar power, allowing for a pleasant and eco-friendly stay at the beach. Wake up to the sound and sight of tropical birds, flying fish, and have a coconut with some bananas for breakfast. In terms of activities, River No. 2 is a great starting point for guided forest walks, fishing trips, and boat rides to the nearby islands, surfing, dancing, and shopping at the boutique for tie-dyed beach towels and paintings of dramatic sunsets. There's a lot to do there. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the 10 best places to visit in Sierra Leone. As always, you can add more interesting places to visit in Sierra Leone that has not been mentioned in this video and the best comments will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do well to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with plenty of your friends.